friend. Would you like a cuppa? Oh, you, you okay? I love to have a cuppa. Yes. Would you, you like tea or coffee? Um, I'm afraid I don't drink tea. <laughs> what would you like then? Coffee. A coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't drink. I, I never do. I don't have hot drinks. Thank so you. it's very alien to me to have a cup of tea or a coffee uh, until I started this show, and then I started drinking tea. <laughs> tea. So we're having a coffee. Sure. So that's cafe au lait. I will have a, a little bit of cold milk, yes. A little yes. bit of cold milk, Veronique. That's my French glamorous assistant there. Bonjour! 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 <laughs> yes, she's French. She's from Volvic. Vous êtes Française? Oui. De Volvic. Volvic. Ah. <laughs> We're not pretending, she's real French. Uh, so a cafe au lait with a little bit of milk. Thank uh, you. She should know she's French. <laughs> she, exactly. First of all, Hell's Kitchen's about to start. Obviously, you did. The last series of it. Are you going to be watching Hell's Kitchen? Absolutely. And I think this one will be probably the best Hell's Kitchen ever. Because we're dealing with, with a monster. Marco Pierre White is the best chef in the world. I've said that all the time. He's very articulate, very intelligent, very funny. He's from Yorkshire. Yes, he is from Yorkshire, isn't he? He's the most fantastic, the most refined chef that... But Red he's Britain. a looney tune though, isn't he? He's the worst. He flips his lid. He gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you did it, you were, um, you were, you, well, you, we've got a little clip actually. Let's, sh let's show the clip of Jean Christophe in action before I describe. Let's have a look at him. Turn your back, do this, that's what you do. It's not. You don't do that. It's there, there, there. Yeah? Yes, sure. yes sure. Simple. Yes, sure. And if you do that, that means everything you touch is uh, Anything you touch is quick. You see, you see, you seem quite cross. Yes. Cross. Um, you seem quite angry with en, them. En colère. Yes, you were, you were a bit... Um, no, I am cross. not. I, I, I'm actually a giver. I, I'm very kind. I'm very compulsive, if I may say. Very intense. Well, you're passionate. And before all, very passionate. And for me, my duty is to make sure that they learn so much from me. You, you run a, your own cooking academy, don't oh, you? Yes. Talking of teaching people. Can anybody go to your academy? Absolutely. Everybody's oh, welcome. Anthony, can we go? I'd love to You and me. I'd We'd love, love it. It's, 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 that you know something I learned from watching, actually, Hell's Kitchen, and especially your series of Hell's Kitchen, is organisation. Sure. Yes. It's about the cooking. But when you're dealing with cooking for more than four people at yes. home, it's organisation and thinking like, ahead see, and I, being prepared. I can't cope with more than four people in my house at once. It drives me up the wall because of the mess that people yeah. are. Shoes at the front door, more than three Oh, but like you put a basket by four. the front door and you make people put their shoes in a basket. I, I've got sheep dip at my front door. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> now, now listen, so anybody can go to your school, but that's quite daunting. <laughs> that's quite daunting because you've won five rosettes from the AA, haven't you? Yes, Five in one time, yes. Okay. And you've got four consecutive Michelin stars. Well, four I Four consecutive... Yeah. Now, in the Whoa. culinary world, that's, like, second to none. So, can I say something? Thank you for the claps. Thank you. It's nice to receive uh, recognitions. Yes. And I think that keeps you going, especially when you're much younger. Um, but I think life is the same. It's about having fun. Yes. Really enjoying yourself. And really believe in what you do. And if you get a prize at the end of it, that's all the better. Absolutely. But that's not the reason I mean, you do it. I mean, it's like having big ears. It's not because you've got big ears, you, you can actually hear better. It's, it's true, no? It's <laughs> absolutely. Yes. And uh, you're obviously a brilliant chef. Sorry? <laughs> you're obviously a brilliant chef. Uh, but you tried your hand at another art form, didn't you? You did the Celebrity X Factor. Oh, yes, I yes. forgot about that. You've forgotten that. Too. We haven't. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, we've got a picture of you here. No, it's here. just a one-off, no. The, the singing chefs. Look, there you are. Now, I don't know what kind of... Look at this. You've got the most extraordinary look on your face. You wonder why. Look what she what was is she to do. doing to you? <laughs> that is what she's doing to you. So did you have fun? Yes, fantastic. We had a good time and... Because um, you lasted really long, didn't you? You were, you were in... It was a nightmare. Because you had to keep going back. Well, first, because I can't sing. <laughs> I didn't have any auditions. I just arrived from Dubai. We so you got off a plane and straight into the studio? Straight on the stage, and then I realized, oh my god, I can't sing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all right when you are in your shower or in your yeah. bathroom, yeah, and you're singing this in the And nobody's listening. But when you're on the front of, well, nearly um, a thousand of people, 
And it's like 10 million, million people watching. And 10 million people watching you. It was <laughs> like being squeezed in a sandwich. Now, <laughs> Simon Cowell said you were officially the worst singer he'd ever heard. Uh, thank you. <laughs> exactly. So if you're going to get slagged off by Simon Cowell, it's be the worst yes. he's ever heard. I'd be happy with that. It, now, is, is there anything you wouldn't eat? Ale. Hair. You'd never <laughs> eat hair. What about puppies? I don't mind. I, I don't mind. I've got a picture no, of you with a puppy here. Don't tell me you eat puppies. Oh my puppies. God! Please give me a look give me a at chance. that. Who's is this? Yours? Yeah, it's my one. I've got oh. twenty-one of them. Pardon? Twenty You've got twenty-one dogs. Dogs, yeah. I just love them. Oh, where'd you put them? I told you I'm very compulsive. That'd be our nightmare, wouldn't it? Imagine twenty-one dogs in oh, your house. Oh no, but I love it. No, but you wouldn't have them in your house all at the same time, would you? They're not in the house. I mean, some live in the house, but they live... I've got a massive, uh, massive farm. So you've got... Oh, so they're dotted around. There's four. That'd be enough They are oh, the most amazing things on the planet. What are you serving them there? It's a... It's a T-bone. <laughs> T-bone? Oh, Lord. So when we go to your it's cookery a... school, we'll be able to meet them all. They're no, no, all no, there. No, no, no. They're in a separate area, obviously. Oh, yeah. oh can we not There's meet them? We're coming. Most... Do you know yeah. that? We're, We're coming to the cookery school. You have to come, because it's probably one of the most amazing uh, academy. I'd love First, to First, because I do it myself. I'm actually part of the academy. I don't put somebody in charge. Uh -huh. And I really, really interact with the people. It's I'd not like just to go, cooking. because you're obviously clearly very passionate about what I you am. do. It's not, you don't, I mean, sure, everybody does things. Everybody goes to work to earn a dollar and, you know, to pay the mortgage. But you're obviously very passionate about what you do, and you love what you do. So there's nothing else I want to do except what I'm doing. What food do you prefer, British food or French food? This is a, a silly question. Because sorry. <laughs> well. No, sorry, I apologize. I'm not trying to be rude, but... There's so much great produce. You, you now have the best cheese in Europe. You got farmers who supply you mm -hmm. mozzarella. You can have some the best double cream, the best Scottish smoked, so, smoked salmon. You can have the best lobsters. The scallops are the best in the world. Now talking of ingredients, we've got a little um, setup here. You're going to cook for us. Oh aren't my god! You? <laughs> I'm quite scared. Who's this one? Now, now that's Maisie. Oh, Maisie, yeah. Crazy Lovely Maisie. Dog. She's gorgeous, isn't she? A lady sent that in for us. Janet, she was called. Now, I've got, uh, do you want to put this on? You, you know what? I think you should. It's like uh, being a kid. You know when you play uh, in your bedroom with some plastic uh, cup? There you go. You put that on. What are you going to cook for us? I have no idea yet. You have no idea yet. OK. <laughs> right, here we go. So we've got some ingredients here. Right. Oh, great. Now, we're here to help. Yes, so fantastic. Great. Put your strawberries. Now, we turn this. Do you want this side? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> a stand okay. back. Okay. What I want is to introduce all the, the fruits together and give a little bit of the sugar to give that uh, little right. syrupy uh, flavor, okay? Like Therefore, one. first, I'm going to use strawberries. the strawberries. Yeah. Then we're going to put the raspberries. They're beautiful colors. Red current. Fantastic textures, okay? The Black blackberries. We have them growing enough. at the back of our house. Everything yeah. is in seasons. Are those yours? What are you making, John Christophe? I have no idea, but I'm going to try to make you... No idea, he's going to make it up. So you, but a I'm big gonna make of you, fruit. I'm going to make you a nut loaf. <laughs> I know, see, I'd never think of heating up fruit, would you? Oh, but it's sugar. No, a little bit of icing Ooh, sugar. Icing and what sugar. we want oh, is to bring a little bit of very hot, that, doesn't it? Here we are, look at this. Look at that. Got a lovely action there, Jean Christophe. It's funny. <laughs> now, the idea is to introduce enough sugar, because there's always a little bit of acidity into the fruits. Now, you can see the colour. It's, oh, it's nice, yeah, it's caramelising. Yeah. Perfect, absolutely. A little bit of a twist. No. You're doing very well with the props you. you've got. Thank you, Anderson. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then we're going to put a little bit of alcohol, oh. which is supposed to be Kirsch. Oh! And the flavour... I'm scared! And the flavour is... <laughs> if you try this... I'm going to say it. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. I'll be trying this, sir. Uh -huh. No, thank you. Oh, sorry, I think that's it. It's a bit odd, yeah? Oh, well, use another one, I'll have a mouth oh, sure, round that's right. it. Now, what I wish to do today, don't worry, it's not going to be any... any oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll put the handle back on. Uh, oh, yes, oh, yes, of course, yeah. Put the handle back on. Oh, it's going to burn, that is, isn't it? Oh, you oh, clip that on there. <laughs> <laughs> We are right I there. Think we've got oh my God! This is. This there is, we go. There we go. This is doing very well. He's doing very well. <laughs> this is was on Exeter. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. Uh,